Hey guys, happy new year. I hope you're ready because we are starting it out right here in 2021, getting it done, getting the house decluttered, clean, and organized. I'm starting out organizing under my sink today. I'm gonna be transforming the area and creating a lot more space. And then also completely decluttering our hall closet and transforming that area, creating a little mudroom area, creating easy organization solutions, even that you can implement into your home as well so i'm going to be giving you guys easy step-by-step -step instructions on how you can organize a space in your home as well so let's get ready let's start out the new year on the right foot and declutter and organize So happy new year to you all happy 2021 it's a new year and if you guys are new to my channel i'm jamie and i am truly passionate about cleaning decluttering organizing um, especially during this time of the year it's kind of like my go time it's my time to pretty much do a sweep of my entire home and tackle the areas that have been becoming cluttered over the year so i'm a busy mom i have three kids i have a five-year-old daughter and then twin girls who are one and they will be two in march so we have a lot of stuff a lot of areas that are cluttered and full of junk that needs to be organized or reorganized i need to find new solutions that work better for our family as our kids are growing so i would love to have you guys join my journey on this quest to declutter and organize and clean my entire home hopefully i can share some tips and tricks and hacks with you give you guys ideas and easy step-by-step -step instructions to make organizing easy for you um, i am not perfect my home is not perfect but i just try my best and i hope you guys will join me and I can help you guys out in some way. Maybe we're friends cleaning and decluttering together or hopefully I can add some value to your life. So I would love to have you guys subscribe. So I've been starting out um, my mornings in 2021 with some lemon water, nothing special, but just a way to force myself to drink a little bit more water. And this morning, the plan was just to pick up the kitchen and the living room and deep clean some areas of my kitchen before tackling decluttering and organizing under my sink and the hall closet. We kind of created our own DIY mud room. So we have more room for all of the kids' coats, shoes, gloves, backpacks, and all of that. So I'm gonna organize both areas today, which I did organize those areas back in the spring, but with our growing family and the kids getting a little bit older, some of the solutions just didn't work. So that was going to be the plan for today. And I am telling you, I am in love with the transformations and I cannot wait to share with you guys how I was able to transform both of these areas. And I'm also gonna tell you how I did it and hopefully you guys can transform an area in your home as well. Get you with the tech sound XO. My ace boom boom, no flex no. I won't gas you up like Petro Just trying to take you way up with a jet go But you didn't notice that Keep clocking all my hours, I told you that Work now, play later But you keep going off on me Keep texting like it's all on me Yeah, you're all in my head like before I got started organizing, I wanted to wipe down the slider back door. There were a lot of little sticky fingerprints on there and I wanted to dust the top part as well and also clean the tracking because it gets filled with dust, dirt, 
cat and dog fur, food from the twins and all of that. So this is one of my favorite little cleaning hacks. It's so easy easy to do. You just take a sponge and cut long lines down the sponge that go along with your window tracking. So um, I deep cleaned the window trackings here not too long ago, so it really wasn't too bad. And this little hack is kind of a way to maintain it when it's not super bad, you know? So I just spray it down spray the tracking down with some cleaner or I just wet the sponge with some water and I slide it back and forth and there you have it clean window trackings it's just kind of like a good maintenance hack All right, so now it's time to organize. My husband was putting together a little cube organizer that I'm going to be utilizing in our closet to kind of make our own little mudroom type of thing. So he was getting that put together and I was getting prepared to start organizing. Hey guys, now it is time to organize. I'm gonna show you the two areas I'm gonna tackle today. One space and under the sink so i got some new things i got some new containers and i'm really really excited about this and then the other project sorry it's a little dark is the coat closet new system that i'm really excited um to try out in here so we'll see what i can do So with both projects, I'm going to be kind of kanmari pulling everything out and decluttering before I actually organize. And so I pulled out all of the organizational bins and things I'm going to be using in the kitchen before I get started. Um, and I think the goal with a lot of uh, with these projects is to create more space and have a place for every item in the closet or under the sink. So I'm not just, you know, throwing things in the closet or in the sink and a little tip if you have an area you're trying to organize i will tell you that um when i start i kind of an organizational project i kind of start it before i actually start organizing if that makes sense so a couple days before this i kind of took space of both of these areas the closet and under the sink and took stock of what was under there. So I measured the spaces. I did a quick eye test of things that I knew I would wanna keep in the closet or under the sink before I actually went online to start shopping for the organizational bins or different type of organizers. All right, so let's get this closet organized. So this is a closet that we keep our shoes, our coats, winter boots, rain boots, tennis shoes, um, all of our coats, um, heavy coats, light coats. And I organized this back in the spring, but that's but that organizational system just wasn't working for our growing family now. It did for a while, but not now. So I guess my tip to you is organizing and decluttering can be an ongoing thing, especially if you have kids. Kids grow, um, they get into different activities or they start school or different things happen. And as your kids grow, you may have to reorganize, or even if you don't have kids, like your life changes, you may have to reorganize a space, even though it once worked for you. So when I organized this back in the spring, it worked for us, but this w but this recently um, had not because my twins were, you know, um, they're walking now, so they have multiple pairs of shoes and we have multiple coats and we that we didn't have in the summer. So now I have three kids with multiple coats. It's the winter, so we have hats and gloves and mittens and all of that, and I needed more organizational room for all three of my kids in here. I hope that you can stay right here. With me. 
So I wanted a cube organizer in here and at first I was going to go with a taller one but it really didn't make sense because we have hanging coats um, and book bags in here. So I found this really nice three cube bookshelf at Walmart and I turned it on its side to put in here and I found these bins at Target and I just think it looks a little bit nicer which I like because this is right off of our kitchen, right off of our living room. So I want the space to be nice, but also functional. And the twins share shoes right now, but I know that probably and likely will not always be the case. So each girl has their own bin for shoes, and then we have a bin on the bottom for hats and gloves. So I saw this idea and I thought it was super cute because we live in Ohio. And so the problem is, you know, like these baskets are nice and all, um, but we have snow on the ground, we have wet shoes, and I thought it would be nice to add that as an option. So if it's rainy, snowy, they can set their boots on those pads, and then when they're all dry, they can put them into these bins. If you have a space that is just so cluttered, you may have to go in first and declutter that space and then take a look at everything you have that you're keeping and then go shopping. Um, but for organization bins or you know containers, both of my spaces were cluttered but not crazy cluttered. So I was able to kind of do an eye test and assess the main items that I wanted to keep in both spaces. So I was able to go shopping online before I actually started decluttering, if that makes sense. So step one, measure um, measure the space, take stock of what you what you want to keep in that space, and then go shopping for items in organizational systems that will make sense for that space that space and fit in the space and create the most room. So I found these clear organizers off of Amazon and I knew I had four things that I wanted to organize in there. And I like it because with these, I can organize four separate things into one space because I'm utilizing the vertical space. And I love how they were clear so I can see what's in these containers on a daily basis since I get under, under my sink all of the time. But when you start an organizing project, um, you want to assess your space. What do you want to keep in there? Um, and then go online and start shopping for the items that you know you want to keep, um, like Amazon, Target, Walmart. So I knew that I would have, you know, my everyday cleaning supplies that I wanted to keep down here, like my Jaws cleaning products, which I use most frequently. So one of those, I wanted those out front and center. And then I have my Mrs. Myers and rubbing alcohol for my DIY cleaner. So I knew I would have those in here as my main cleaning products. Um, and then I was also going to organize the dishwasher pods, cleaning rags, and sponges under here. If you guys have an Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my Instagram right here. You guys, I would love for you guys to come over and find me and say hi. Just another way for me to be able to connect with you. It sometimes it's easier to chat over there. Um, but yeah, I'll have it over there. I share more of my life. Um, of course, cleaning, tap to cleans, but more of my personal life, more of my kids and all of that. All the time, I think about him all the time. I think about him all the time, all the time. And my heart's beating fast when it's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me 
It's the way that it moves and the way that it laughs So I can't get enough Think about him all the time I can get him off my mind Oh, I want him to be my So if some of you guys have watched the home edit on Netflix, um, I know the big thing there with organizing is clear containers and there are some spaces i really like clear containers and other times i don't want clear containers um, so this is kind of one of my first go arounds with clear containers sometimes i like things to be more concealed um, and i don't want to see the clutter or the mess even when it's in bins but i feel like under this sink since most of the stuff was very cohesive and all of the same thing it doesn't look messy or cluttered so i like having the clear containers here so i was so excited to put some labels on the clear organizers and i'm using my cricut joy machine and i just love this machine i'm going to be using it for all of my all over my home to organize and i just like how it allowed me to make the labels that i wanted to make and it's just really easy because they have this app um, that already has pre-made labels so i didn't even have to create them myself like it literally took five minutes to create all of these labels so you just have to type in your words and it prints right out so i just love using the cricut joy for things like this Here's the closet. I love it. It's going to be so much easier to organize everything. So I have Avery's shoes. She of course has the most shoes. The twins have a shoes and I did get two bins for them. One for Emery and one for Addison. But right now they share shoes because they wear the same size, but I know it's not likely that they will always wear the same size shoes. So I wanted to make for sure they each had a bin. Um, and so for right now I have their shoes here and then I just threw in um, their little backpack in here. That was actually Avery's just because there wasn't a ton of room up here. And I want to reserve this hang area for Avery's school bag. Um, her winter coats and then of course we have masks right now which let's hope cross our fingers that we're not hanging masks for that much longer um so i just threw that in there for right now and then down here um i just even though mike and i's shoes aren't wet or anything i just thought it would be a good place to put them and then we have like all of our hats and gloves in here which is kind of nice um and even when mike and i don't have our shoes so if avery has wet boots or uh shoes or something you know we can always just put our shoes like over here because now there's a lot more space and then i have the diaper bag my purse mike's gym bag all hanging up over here and tucked away so when i last did when I last organized this in the spring, I added these heavy duty command strips. So if we ever need to take them off, they will obviously peel really nicely. Um, but I just thought it was a nice way to tuck away and hide away the diaper bag or a purse or Michael hang his gym bag, gym bag right there. So just kind of a nice way because, you know, we have all of this space back here. Um, and I wanted to utilize some of the wall space. So I thought these were perfect for it. And then over here I have my spin mop, broom, and e-cloth mop, and then our coats over here. And it's kind of nice because right now we're in the dead of winter. So this is gonna be about the most coats that we're going to have, um, Mike and I. So like in the spring, we'll take 
like probably half of these coats out of here. So it's kind of nice because it's not like it's going to be it's not like it's in the summer and we're going to be adding more stuff or anything. And then up here I have the dirty cloths, clean, more clean cloths just to have on hand, um, bags, and then I don't have a label for that. I need to get one, um, but that's just extra bags. But either way, I'm loving all of the, the space that we have. We, are, we have way more shoes in here organized than we did. and tell you where I got everything. Don't mind the kids if you hear them, they're sitting down eating a snack. Over here I have all of my Jaws refills and I think I talked about this when I was using them. But these are really nice because when you order them online, you just get these little pods and you keep these. So I've had these for over a year and you just refill. I've had the bottles for over a year and you just refill the pods so it's really nice. So I have all of my Jaws products here. So refill pods up there. Then I have my cleaning cloths. Yes, I still have some in the, the closet over here, but I like having them here when I need something to wipe things down. They're right here or the twins face or um, hands or something like that when they're done eating. All of my sponges that I use to scrub my sink and my stove top and all of that right there. And then all of our dish dishwasher pods and it's and it's nice to have a big container because I had a smaller container previously and we've been getting them from Costco so a big container so it's nice to have a nice big container to store all of them and then I have my Jaws cleaning products right here because these are like my primary cleaning products other than the Mrs. Meyer spray and my DIY spray which I keep up on the counter um, but these are like my like go-to's for disinfectant, glass, kitchen degreaser, and then my granite cleaner. And then, and I got these from Amazon. I'll have them linked below. This was from Target. I got this back in the spring. This I got from Amazon. I had a Lazy Susan previously, but I just got a smaller one and it came in a pack of two, which was kind of nice. So I think I'm going to use that in my pantry. Um, and I got these from Target. I love these. They're like Y weave baskets. I use them all over my home and I have all of my rubbing alcohol that I use for my DIY cleaner as well as my Mrs. Meyers vinegar gel and baking soda cream cleansers. These are all of my like miscellaneous cleaners. I've kind of really whittled down the clean, the amount of cleaners that I use now that I primarily use the Jaws and the Mrs. Myers and my DIY cleaner. Um, but of course you still need some like big time oven cleaner sometimes. And then I have my barkeeper's friend and Bon Ami, um, my Dawn and Dust and Jet Dry, so. I love how it looks. Okay, so I'm done organizing and these are all of the cleaners that I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna put upstairs um, or give away. I don't really ever use these stainless steel wipes anymore, um, but I am gonna take the glass cleaner upstairs because I know I'll use that. Um, some disinfecting spray that I'll take upstairs and some floor cleaners. So I'll take those upstairs or, and I think I'm gonna give the um, wood floor cleaners to my parents since I don't really ever use them. Um, and then the Mrs. Myers, I am going to keep up here probably on next to my sink um, since I do use that pretty frequently. So another project that I would like to tackle is this cabinet. Now, it's just, I feel like every time we go in to get in cups, like they're just stacked weirdly. And I found this really cool organizer recently. Um, I ordered it online and it allows you to organize like all of your water bottles and create way more space. So I'm waiting on that, but hopefully... I'll show it to you guys um, when I get it, when I organize some other cabinets here in my closet. Warm hands, but there's something cold in the way you are. The things you said had me going good, but it left a scar. You invite me and then you turn me down. Get my hopes up and then you're gone. I fall. Every word that you say to me So hard Being drawn to you so easy 
Okay, so after I was done organizing, I wanted to just do some general kitchen deep cleaning. And earlier when I was cleaning the slider door, I had noticed how messy this wall was. This is obviously the wall right behind where the twins um, eat, where their high chairs are, and it becomes pretty messy. So I went in with a wet rag with some just warm water and Dawn dish soap, and I scrubbed the wall and the baseboards by their high chairs. And then I wanted to scrub my sink and my stove, clean the tops of the cabinets, and vacuum and mop. And I should tell you guys that all of this cleaning that you're seeing me doing was literally throughout an entire day from like the beginning to the end. So it was done. Like I, I didn't just start and clean straight through. There were a lot of times where I stopped to take breaks with the kids. It was a Saturday, so Mike was hanging with the girls most of the day. But I also took breaks and was hanging with them, eating, all of that. And it's just hard to convey that in a video. Sometimes people will get questions and they're like, how did you do this without your, you know, with your kids? And I just, I know when you watch it, it looks like I'm just doing it all seamlessly because I think people watch it and they're like, why can't I get stuff done with my own kids? And I just want to be really transparent with you because... I want you to know that I'm not just cleaning with my kids running around. I mean, Mike's there. I'm taking a lot of breaks. And so it's very rare that I get to actually clean straight through without anyone interrupting me, without taking any breaks. I mean, that almost never happens. Um, like I had started out pretty early this morning and finished late at night. So there's a lot of breaks being taken, a lot of taking care of my kids, a lot of passing the kids off to my husband. So that's just kind of how the day was going. So I love using this Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser to clean the top of my glass cooks top stove. <laughs> I don't know why that was hard for me to say, but I recently found these new sponges. I think I got them at Target, Target or Walmart. And they're supposed to just, I mean, they're specifically for cleaning your glass cooktop stove. Um, I just haven't used them yet. So I need to do that. Maybe I'll film it on a video. That way you guys can, I can test it out for you guys in camera, let you know. So stay tuned for that. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar. So I didn't plan on cleaning the basement, but Avery needed something to do and she actually asked me if we could clean the basement. So I said, sure, it needs to be done. So of course, you know, I'm going to drop everything and go clean with her if she wants to clean with me. So I took her downstairs and we started picking everything up. I guess it never hit you a conversation takes to paying it some interest from time to time inside all that greatness and all of your adventures you're I'm gonna all share this with you guys I think you will appreciate this so I had stacked a few things on the toy box over here and Avery moved them to under there because she said, why did you move those, Avery? What did you want to do with this? To be plain. She wanted it to be plain. <laughs> I'm like, a girl just like me. 
I would love it plain too. I think we need to do a little, to another toy purge. Um, but I thought that was kind of cute. She's like, let's tuck it away under there so we could have a plain toy box. So this Roomba used to do really great, perfect up and down vacuum lines, but then it kind of went a little rogue and I don't know what happened. We didn't change anything. So now it kind of just does its own thing. So I think I need to recalibrate it. So I might have to do that. I think you can do that. So it makes better lines. almost eight o'clock the girls are in bed it's much later um they were pretty tired today but i'm gonna finish up and vacuum and mop i was planning on vacuuming and mopping earlier but i just time got away from me i never got to it and the girls were getting pretty cranky so i wanted to make for sure that i just quit and plus we were gonna eat dinner and i knew the floor would get messy so it probably made sense for me to hold out and vacuum and mop later on so i'm gonna go ahead vacuum and mop so i can be done for the day watch me just follow every move touch me let me know you want it to don't tell what you need So stay tuned because there will be plenty of more decluttering and organizing videos on my channel. My next project may be organizing and decluttering my parents' small pantry. Um, if you guys want to see me do that, if you're ready for me to do that. Um, they really don't have a pantry. It's more like cabinets in their kitchen. So I think I might want to tackle that next. And I think it might give you guys a lot of different um, ideas because... You know, my pantry is not huge, but it's also not small. So if you have a small pantry, hopefully it can give you guys some ideas. So my go-to mop cleaner lately is using one teaspoon, that's it, one teaspoon of powdered Tide in my O Cedar Spin mop bucket. And I've been talking about this a lot, so I'm sorry if you're tired of hearing me say this, um, but I know that not everyone sees all of my videos and there may, may be some new people, but there's an Instagram cleaning account called Go Clean Co. And she owns a cleaning business in Canada and she swears by using powdered Tide. So specifically powdered Tide laundry detergent to clean many different areas of the home. And she swears by using one teaspoon um, in a mop bucket like this and cleaning your floors. And I've really noticed it doing a good job. And I've had a lot of you guys say you've tried it on your floors and it's game changing. So if you give it a try, let me know. One teaspoon of powdered Tide, that's it, in hot water.
Do you guys hear that? I left the sound on. It's so quiet. Usually when I do like a span of the clean living room and kitchen, I have like music playing, but I wanted to play it because it's quiet, it's calm, and the house is clean. And I have areas that are organized and it just feels good. Those are two areas that have been kind of on my list for a while. And you know, when you have something like sitting on your to-do list, that's really bugging you, especially two areas that you get in daily, multiple times, like under the sink or the closet. And we're just like, I don't have enough room to put everything. Um, I hated it. And like we had our um, hats and gloves in one of the kitchen drawers and it would barely shut. It was always so frustrating or we'd be rushing out of the door and we didn't have shoes for the twins and we'd have to run upstairs or go, Avery, can you go up and grab the girls' boots or something like that? So it just feels to have it, it feels good to have it done. And the house is clean, even though I know in about like 10 minutes in the morning, it'll be messy again, but that's okay. So anyways, thank you guys for sticking around this entire video. Um, it truly means a lot to me, especially in this new year. Um, thank you. I'm glad you're here. And it means everything to me that you guys take the time to watch my videos. And I really hope that I can provide something for you guys, um, some type of takeaway from these videos. So if you guys like these videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up because I have a lot more organizing uh, videos planned here in 2021. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Your face Bye. In the crowd. I never thought that I would see it tonight.